brain on sugar, or how sweets influence thinking. Without glucose, the brain cannot function. Sweets though they are not its best source, especially since you can reach for them from its use to sugar, it is different to give it up. Meanwhile, excess carbohydrates are very harmful to Scientists from Aarhus University warn application with our study is clear. Sugar changes the brain's reward system similar way observed when using addictive substances. Authors of the work published in scientific magazine reports gave fresh water to pigs and examined their brains. After just 12 we noticed significant changes in the dopamine and opioid systems over the days. You really the opioid system which is part of the brain chemistry associated with good well-being and pleasure, activated after the first administration of said author of the experiment, Michael Winterdahl. As he explains, when we experience something that makes sense to us, the brain rewards you with a sense of satisfaction and happiness. These could be contacts sociable, learning something new, professional successes, or e.g. sex. However some substances, including drugs, may have similar effects turns out, also sugar. If sugar can change the reward system in the brain just in, in 12 days, as we saw in the pig experiment, we can afford it imagine how natural stimuli are, such as science or social interactions are pushed aside and replaced with sugar or other substances chemical. We all demand dopamine if something makes it stronger reproach, this is what we choose, emphasizes the researcher. As he explains, his experiment is of particular importance because previous experiments of this type were conducted mainly on rodents, uh, they have brains less similar to humans than pigs. Addiction to sugar may be a little on growth, however, many studies indicate strong in a sense addictive the action of this substance. Authors published in British Journal of Sports Medicine Review reports that in animal experiments sugar it caused more symptoms than talking about addiction would require. They exchange among others strong desire for another dose, developing tolerance, unpleasant symptoms after discontinuation, effects on the opioid system. Sugar addiction seems to be an addiction to endogenous opioids secreted during eating. Described in literature the evidence for both animals and humans shows clear similarities between using drugs and eating sugar from a point of view brain neurochemistry as well as from the point of view of behavior right in their work scientists. Just like with any trap, this one is better get out, also for the good of the brain itself. Research indicates among others that increased risk of Alzheimer's disease at too high levels glucose in the body, e.g. kitchen sugar, is easily digestible source. Team with Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, in experiments on mice for example, he discovered that increased blood glucose levels quickly increase in the brain beta amyloid concentration a protein typical of this condition. Our results suggest diabetes or other disorders that hinder sugar control may have a harmful effect on brain function and intensify neurological problems such as Alzheimer's disease. This is Dr. Shannon McCauley, author of the discovery. The results of the Boston study agree with this university school of medicine research involving a study observed over many years volunteer groups. Scientists have found that higher glucose levels are recorded at age the mean was associated with a marked increase in the subsequent risk of Alzheimer's disease. It is worth mentioning that a similar correlation also exists in the case of high cholesterol and triglycerides. They claim that potential effects may be wider at the same time. Effects of these risk factors especially concentrations glucose may not be specific to Alzheimer's disease, but it may contribute they also write about the creation of other forms of dementia in their publication researchers. Not only thoughts and ways of solving arise in the brain problems, but also emotions. Here, as it turns out, sugar can also
also do a lot spoil. Research suggests, for example, a correlation between high consumption of sweet food and drinks and the risk of depression. Researchers from University College London they took a closer look at the relationship between sugar consumption and various common ones mental disorders, including depression, analyzing long-term data British Epidemiological Survey Whitehall 2. They detected a clear connection between sugar consumption and poor mental health. Apart from depression, these dependencies were impossible explain other elements of the diet, socioeconomic factors, or demographic. Importantly, the analysis allowed us to exclude the inverse relationship to that is, the impact of mental disorders on sugar consumption. This mainly concerned men, although the difference may have been due to their greater participation in the project. In conclusion, we find that our study provides evidence that sugar consumption with sweet foods and drinks increases risk of mood disorders in men and indicates similar but limited evidence regarding both sexes. In the face of the prevalence of mood and consumption disorders sugar two to three times higher than recommended, strategies according to our results promoting the reduction of sugar consumption could support other prevention methods depression is written by the authors of the publication, which was published in the periodical scientific reports. However, Heimer's disease. As scientists explain, previous research they showed a decrease in the amount of this substance in the brain of people with this type dementia, but it was not known where the cause and where the effect lay. Changes they mainly concerned the hippocampus of one of the key regions for action memory. Scientists have been administering a substance to healthy mice for a long time, which blocks glucose from entering cells and then they checked their memory and they examined brains. Rodents treated with the mentioned substance coped much worse, and microscopic examinations revealed damage to neurons. Further the analysis indicated the processes observed in Alzheimer's disease. According to researchers this discovery includes, supports the theory that episodes of glucose deficiency in the brain cells that accompany diabetes damage the brain over time. It's very likely that diabetes is associated with this types of episodes when glucose cannot enter cells says study author, Professor Domenico Pratico, who, however, draws attention here mainly to insulin resistance that disrupts glucose transport. When it comes to carbohydrates in the diet, it is with typical Western ones you probably don't have to worry much about their deficiency in your diet. Bigger rather, excess carbohydrates may be a threat, especially easily absorbable ones that do not promote health for many other reasons. So when we look at a cookie or candy, even though the brain can convince, the what wonderful delicacies, it is better to listen to the part of it, which, in your voice reason says, what too much is not health.